All right, Nick, let's talk about the LSU Tigers coming into what I would consider potentially a big game against the Arkansas Razorbacks. Their Razorbacks coming off of a huge win over the Tennessee Volunteers. I think this is going to be a tricky one for LSU. They got to come in with the right mindset, but nonetheless, they've got a little bit of help this week. Some good news really coming into this week against Arkansas. I'm Andrew, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. Right, Nick, as I alluded to, the Tigers got some really great news helping them coming into this week against the Razorbacks. I think it's going to help out a lot, help them what some people call a trap game, a game that if you don't look, you know, you look forward too much to the next week, you could lose sight of what's in front of you. But nonetheless, let's get into the article and we can talk more about it on the other side. This, of course, is from SI.com. LSU wide receiver C.J. Daniels was out for Saturday night's thriller after re-aggravating a knee injury he suffered in the past. Despite initial tests coming back positive, Daniels remained sidelined to continue recovering. Now moving forward to Arkansas week, Daniels has a good chance of playing on Saturday night in Fayetteville with the veteran wideout trending in the right direction, according to coach Brian Kelly. He said Daniels practiced and looked good and will list him as probable for Saturday, Kelly said during Wednesday's SEC teleconference. Nick, this is really great news for LSU as they come in to this matchup versus the Arkansas Razorbacks. They really need to be on top of their game, and having a veteran wide receiver like Daniels is going to be key for them. Curious what your thoughts are on this, but Nick, before we get to you, LSU fans, in the comment section below, like I said, maybe a little bit of a trap game if they try to look too far ahead, but I think they're going to pull it off. I want to know what your thoughts are, though. Let us know in the comment section below. What's the final score of this Tigers versus Razorbacks game going to be? Let us know your final score in the comment section below. But nonetheless, Nick, what do you think about this recent news for the Tigers? Yeah, I think it's absolutely outstanding news because they are heading into this really terrible combination of a trap game. They've got to go to Texas A&M, who looks pretty good after Arkansas, and they're coming off of a massive emotional home victory under the lights against Ole Miss last weekend. So you got this terrible combination of trap game and the letdown game, an emotional letdown game. And in these kind of environments, and this is gauntlet SEC schedule, and this call to a ball world that we live in, this is where coaching matters, and this is where health matters. We talk about it all the time in our National Football League channel. It's very similar at the college game. Usually the healthier teams turn out on top and in a brutal schedule like this, again, chance for a letdown slash trap game, you need all hands on deck. And Daniels is a guy averaging about 50 yards per game receiving who can be another weapon in this Tigers offense led by Nussmeyer who showed a lot of heart, played great. How about the just incredible fourth down or fourth downs, I should say, towards the end of the Ole Miss game. And, of course, the overtime back shoulder throw was something absolutely special. But the reality reality is there's going to be an emotional letdown. It's going to be an exhausted, tired team going against an Arkansas squad that's pretty frisky, right? They came within four of beating A&M. They held a really good Oklahoma State team. That was a one-possession game. And, of course, they upset the Tennessee Volunteers. This is a frisky Razorback squad. LSU, emotional letdown big game on the other side of it you need all hands on deck this is a tough environment this is what makes ACC football so brutally tough and it is great news Daniels looks like he's going to be ready because again they're going to need Nussmeyer to play at a high level they're going to need him to take care of the football and what better way to do that than have all of your quality receivers ready to have a big time impact yeah Nick and I think you said it best this is what makes being in the SEC so tough This is a team in LSU coming in, like you said, off of a big game. But before uh, Old Miss, I would say they had the easier portion of their schedule. And it's really hard to come into off a game like Old Miss, that's such a big game, into Arkansas. But no, like you said, you got Texas A&M afterwards. You've got Alabama after that. You got Florida. You got the rest of the SEC gauntlet ahead of you. It can be really, really difficult. So I think this was imperative for LSU to come in, be able to be at full strength, be in full gear, have some of these veteran guys. You know, sometimes the veteran guys, they've been around, they've been in this SEC schedule. They know the ups and downs. They know, like, for instance, let's look at Alabama, perfect example. If you sleep on a team like Vanderbilt, you're going to lose. These veteran guys can come and say, hey, guys, I know it's Arkansas, and I know it's not Texas A&M, it's not Alabama the world. 
But if you turn a blind eye to one of these SEC teams, they can sneak up and get you. Look at the game against South Carolina. That's a perfect example for the LSU Tigers. Really close game. Came down to the wire. Almost lost that one. So I think having as many of these veteran guys back on the roster is going to be crucial for them coming into this matchup to keep this team, keep their eyes ahead on the opponent in front of them, keep the ship sailing straight. But Daniels come back really, really big for the LSU Tigers. Yeah, don't discount LSU fans, the fact of an emotional letdown. I played small-time college football, D1, AA, and I remember a specific matchup my junior season. We beat a nationally ranked team. It was a huge upset at the time. It was a big deal. It was at home. It was a night game, kind of similar feel, right, coming off of beating Ole Miss, even though you weren't a huge underdog. In the very next week, we got absolutely killed because we came out flat and tired. It just happens with these college kids. It's just a reality. In those situations, you have to rely on two things. You have to rely on your leadership, talking about Kelly and Nussmeier, and you've got to rely on your talent. And I think Daniels coming into the fold is another talented piece returning to the uh, the field that should hopefully give LSU the edge to overcome that emotional letdown and get a big SEC victory over Arkansas.